You guys, good evening. Just let me, give me one mm. moment. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. And kiss that. Okay, so we are going to begin, right, section four today. Okay, eh, pero igual, ¿verdad? Si hay preguntas, si hay algún ejercicio en la plataforma, me avisan, ¿de acuerdo? So we can answer the questions para poder responder las preguntas, ¿verdad? Give me one moment. There we go. So here we have number four. Eh, for this week, guys, para esa semana sí, necesito que me apoyen porque eh, hay algunos que quizás no han terminado la otra sección anterior, ¿verdad? Y tenemos ya que ir pasando a la sección 4, ¿de acuerdo? El, esta, esta semana siempre les digo, ¿verdad? Tienen que asegurarse que, que están ya a punto de terminar para que su promedio pues ya esté listo, ¿verdad? Para ser promovido. Así que for this week, we're going to be working with section 4, ¿ok? Section 4, and if you have any questions about the, the, the other activities, acerca de las actividades que están más adelante, no importa, usted puede hacer sus preguntas, aunque esté, por ejemplo, el grupo anterior me preguntó del, del final exam, ¿verdad? Que ya están en el, algunos están en el final exam. Así que si usted tiene preguntas de esas partes, no hay problema, también puede hacerlas, ¿ok? Entonces, what are we going to do? The first thing is that we're going to introduce, you know, the, the unit. I will read for you the... Um, Wait, what happened? Permítame, chicos. I will read for you the, the objective, pero antes voy a pasar lista. Permítame que se me cerró la lista. ¿Qué pasó? Bueno, para mientras comencemos, mientras carga, ¿verdad? It says, by the end of this lecture, right, participants will be able to greet and introduce themselves using the verb to be. ¿Por qué aparece este? Ahí está. Back to the future, right? We have a snapshot. Eh, there is a movie, right? Do you remember that, that movie named Back to the Future? Do you like that movie, guys? It's a really good movie, right? Okay, and we have like three movies, I think. But I really like them. My daughter uh, loved them. She loves them, I'm sorry. They are very good movies. Vaya, me cargo la lista, chicos, permítame. No, aquí está. Yo creo que mi computadora ya va a pedir actualizaciones. Está súper, súper lenta. Vale, hoy sí. Tenemos acá a Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Eh, Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Gracias, doctor. Gracias. Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Gracias, Gracias. Tamari Saraí García Cero. Sí, le escuché, Claudia Lisette. Gracias. Eh, Tamari Saraí García Cero. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you, Daniel. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Elsi Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Gracias. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias. Antonio Fra no, Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José. Hernández, ay, Hernández López, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla, present, gracias, eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano, present teacher, 
Gracias, Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Gracias. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Alicia. Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Gracias, Carla. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Kevin Alexander. Mario, no, María Dolores García de López. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Wendy Paola López Martínez. I am here, teacher. Gracias, yes. Wendy. Gracias, Wendy. ¿Quién más dijo present? Carla Elena. Rebeca. No, espérenme, es que tres personas acaban de hablar, vaya. Mejor voy a pasar otra vez ese pedacito. Carla Ele... no, Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Carla Elena López Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. María Dolores García de López. Rebeca Present María. Teacher. Ahí está. Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Ajá. ¿Sí? Xiomara Violeta Salazar y Raeta. Present. Gracias. And Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Ok, thank you. Bye. Hoy sí comenzamos. So I was asking, right, about this movie, Back to the Future, right? Now let's just talk about these questions. Which of the pa these past and present developments are the most important and why? Ok, I will share them. Creo que casi no se ve quizás completo ahí. Eh, veamos intermedio. Vamos aquí con las preguntas. Se los voy a pasar. Creo que salen como cortadas ahí. Pero se los voy a pasar yo. Bye. Ahí están las preguntas en el grupo de WhatsApp también, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos acá, which of these past and present developments are the most important and why? Do you think any of the future developments will happen in your lifetime? How will tomorrow's cities be different? Suggests three differences, right? So we have three different questions, guys, and take a look at the developments that we have there. We have the past, the present, and the future. Past, Wright's father's first successful flight. That was back in 1903, right? And it says Concorde supersonic Janet, I mean, jet is the present, you know, development. And in the future, people, you know, uh, Think there will be commercial flights to outer space, which has been already been mentioned. Que ya ha sido mencionado, de hecho, en propuesta, ¿verdad? That is air travel. But then with home entertainment, home entertainment, color television, that that was uh, the, you know, the, the, the boom, right? In 1941, then in the present time, we have the computer games. And in the future, People, you know, expect to see three-dimensional TV. Well, we never know. Then we have population, right? Population in London, just in London in 1890 was 4 million. But in Tokyo, in 1995, that was 28, uh, I mean, 4, uh, four no, estoy hablando lo que no es, 4 billion. And then in Tokyo, 28 a billion and mega cities in every country, right? Are we going to have mega cities? Meaning that a lot of people will be able to live in a city, ¿verdad? De hecho, han salido esos edificios como que van hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Que van también unos subterráneos que van hacia abajo. So you, they can have more people, you know, uh, in, in, in one place or in one uh, building, right? Son como edificios que se construyen hacia abajo. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask you to go to the breakout rooms, ¿verdad? Lo voy a mandar un ratitito al breakout room solo para que discutan las tres preguntas. Which of these past and present developments are the most important and why? 
do you think any of the future developments will happen in your lifetime? O sea, ¿usted cree que todas esas cosas que se, um, ¿cómo se dice en español? Se pronostican, ¿verdad? Pasen mientras usted esté vivo, in, in your lifetime, o sea, mientras usted esté en, en vivo. How will tomorrow's city be, uh, be different? ¿Cómo van a ser las ciudades de diferentes en el futuro, verdad? Suggest three differences, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a trabajar en estas tres preguntas, ¿verdad? Lo voy a mandar a los breakout rooms. No sé si están este, claras las instrucciones, chicos. Instructions. Yes. Vaya, perfecto. Entonces, vámonos a los breakout rooms. Cualquier cosa... Eh, solo dígame. Ajá, que no, ah, vaya, por ejemplo, ahí Brenda dice que ahorita no puede. Solo dígame si no está con alguien o si la persona con la que está no habla y yo le mando a otra persona. Ok. Vaya, ahí vamos. Eh, solo voy a mover aquí. Quiero ver. Alguien más que me dijo que estaba diente, Claudia era. Vea. Bye. Perfecto. Cualquier cosa me avisan. Si de, de repente no escuchan a alguien, let me know. Ok. Vamos ahorita. Dígame, Daniel. Hey, teacher. What's going on? It's a little time. No, es que fíjense que lo saqué porque muchos se habían quedado afuera. Entonces, okay. estamos teniendo ese problema con la participación en los breakout rooms porque hay unos que sí se quedan afuera, pero demasiado se quedan. Habían como ocho afuera. Entonces, really? eh, ajá, no, no, no puedo hacer eso porque... Eh, 
tengo que estar cambiando, se salen, se meten, entonces yep. no, no puedo, ajá. Sí, lo siento, yep. Daniel, pero I would like to Don't listen worry. to your opinions. Ajá, me gustaría escuchar a los que estaban platicando. So tell me, guys, what do you think about these questions? Do you have anything to say, Daniel? Yeah, I don't I only say uh, um, notification because we're talking with Elio and this and that and this trans interesting uh, conversation. But in my opinion, the in the past and the present development, it's really important. Mm -hmm. For example, the communication is it's uh, that thing is very important because in a uh, twenty years ago, the communication it's is is the lowest, mm -hmm. but um nowadays it's uh, the communication it's really fast, and in the future perhaps perhaps mm -hmm. it, it's um it's really really fast. In um efficient, I don't know what they say efficient, 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 uh -huh. efficient. But for me, in my opinion, this is the the um uh, the most important uh, comparison between the past, the present, and future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, um, it's true. I mean, when it comes to communication, right? we never probably we never thought you know we were that we were this close you know to all the things that are going on unfortunately that's everything right everything in excess is bad so we need to balance you know the things that we um the way we use communication right thank you very much daniel anyone else thank you you're welcome any other opinion about these three questions Opinions about questions. Remember, the questions are in the in the um, WhatsApp group. Ahí están, ¿verdad? Las preguntas. Okay. Anyone else? Yo sé que no entraron al breakout room, pero de, de, aunque no hayan entrado, recuerden que pueden participar. Uh -huh. Hoy han venido súper callados, chicos. Recordemos que... <laughs> es el... Dígame. Yeah. Hi, Daniel. How are you? I talked to Carla about uh -huh. the artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Very good. It is very important in the future, but it's dangerous too. I think uh, it's, for me, it's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Artificial intelligence. Okay. That's totally right, Ivan. Uh, as you were saying before, uh, I mean, it's a great tool, but unfortunately, if it falls into the wrong hands or if people that uh, have bad intentions, you know, use it for other purposes, that can be dangerous, definitely. Evidence can be made. You can be uh, involved in things that you don't even know, right? You can appear, you know, on a picture that doesn't belong to you. Uh, you can be part of a video in a place where you never were. So there are, you know, a lot of things. Let um, me a moment. It, I mean, artificial intelligence is it's very dangerous, right? As I said before, it's a great tool because actually there are some tools for teachers. I have heard there are some very good tools for teachers, but but also you have to be very careful because students now they have you know um, they are just one click away. Están a un click. Students are one click away to commit plagiarism. De cometer plagio, ¿verdad? Because they do not create their own ideas. They use artificial, they will use artificial intelligence to uh, create presentations, to create homework assignments, etc. Actually, uh, me estaba contando una, una, una colega, una compañera, about it. It's like a WhatsApp assistant. Es, un, es una artific inteligencia artificial que es como un asistente de WhatsApp. 
right? And um, you asked him. Usted le pide que le prepare una presentación de un tema X y le prepara una presentación. No algo que buscó en internet, no algo que descargó. Le prepara una presentación. Entonces, well, what you have to do is just to add your touch, ¿verdad? Y ya le agrega su toque y ya estuvo. But also, if you want to create homework, si usted le pide crear una tarea, pues obvio la va a hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ¿qué, está, ¿qué va a estar pasando con, con nuestro critical thinking, nuestro pensamiento crítico, verdad? Entonces, hay muchas cosas que están detrás porque um, I prefer to do it myself. Yo prefiero, prefiero hacerlo. But what happens if, 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 if students start depending on it? Si se empiezan a depender de ello, ¿qué va a pasar? Dígame, Rebeca. Sí, eh, con ese comentario, teacher, eh, creo que bastante, creo que también nos hemos dejado abordar bastante el miedo con una de las redes sociales y todo lo que dicen de ellas, pero la inteligencia artificial... En inglés, sí en inglés. <risa> No, así no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye. Try. Try to create your, your sentences. Trate de crear ahorita un par de oraciones with your main idea, con su idea principal. Ok. Ok. okay. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> opinion of artificial intelligence is not good. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes people no... Sí, no piensan. Ya no piensan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a way they... Uh, it, 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 it makes things easier. Therefore... It doesn't let you think or, ah, you know, okay. uh -huh. continue. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah. my personal opinion is uh, intelli in, 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 artificial in, intelligence. Artificial intelligence is retrocede. Like the, going backwards? It's a retrocede. Going backwards, okay. like going, going what? Like going backwards. Like going what? Like backwards, backwards. Uh -huh. Ir hacia oh. atrás. No, atrás. In a way, right? In a way, it's actually. My opinion. Uh -huh. backwards, right? Going backwards. Uh, yeah, in a way. As I said before, it, it, you can do so many things, right? But we have to be very careful. Creo que está súper bien, pero todo en exceso, en las manos incorrectas, pues. It could be, you know, a problem. Daniel. Yeah, this is a good term. But I think that in, in artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. it's uh, we can use only for fun. Mm -hmm. Only for fun. I think that is good. But uh, when I, some per person uh, make or will be do some activities, mm -hmm. this is... Uh, how do you say Aragon? Lazy. It makes lazy. you lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lazy. And in a few days, my son showed me what to make a resume at the summary. Summary for on a obra. Obra. A play. A play or a book. A, a book. A play. A story. Yeah. Uh -huh. And show me. Hey, look. Hey, Dad. Come on. Look. Look at that! This artificial and writing in the in the in the computer, mm -hmm. and in a in a few seconds, boom! It's a resume is ready. Mm -hmm. But oh my gosh, this is really dangerous for the for the uh, the children for the for formation in yeah. in the school. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you, Daniel, Carla. Good evening. In my opinion, in artificial intelligence, is as the internet. If you use correctly, you um, that is a good tool. But if you like to use for a bad thing, mm -hmm. it's very bad. But um, it's very useful because. Um, Lo que menciona del, del WhatsApp. Oh, about the WhatsApp help assistant. Helping uh -huh. to, uh, in, this, in this work, um, para las tareas repetitivas. Okay, for repetitive homework assignments. Uh -huh. 
Okay, yeah, why not, right? Thank you very much. As I said before, it's cool, right? I, I think it's cool, but also uh, we need to see the pros and cons, right? Advantages and disadvantages, okay? But also we're talking here about, you know, different things. What about question number three, guys? How will tomorrow's cities be different? What will be the, the differences, right, that you foresee in the future? Que usted como pronostica en el futuro, ¿verdad? Forecast, right, um, difference, those differences in the future. Well, um, I don't know if you have heard about smart cities, right, smart cities. There are uh, many things that we can uh, say about it. So how do you see cities in the future? How would they change? Yes, Flor. Teacher, I imagine the future. I don't know if you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. In the future, I I think and I imagine that cars will fly someday. Mm -hmm. And the cities would be more no less less cars on the streets, almost all there on the air, maybe. Uh -huh. There will be less traffic. <laughs> less traffic, right? I mean, on the, I mean, on on the ground and in, uh, in the soil, but but we don't know, you know, in the air, right? And actually, there are already some, you know, um, prototypes. There are prototypes of flying cars, but they haven't been, you know, launched to general public, and. The, the, if we have flying cars in the future, they will have to create new laws and regulations, right? Because um, that's going to be a uh, different film. Que creo que Jocelyn me había escrito a mí y yo le escribía a Daniel y creo que se fue para Jocelyn. Es que cuando ustedes me mandan un mensaje privado y yo quiero contestar o mandar un mensaje, se queda se queda en ese mensaje privado que me enviaron, ¿verdad? Eh, pero no sé por qué me aparece así, solo para Jocelyn. Pero creo que ya, le, ya lo pueden ver todo, vea. Es worldreference.com, Daniel. Worldreference.com. Y para saber cómo, yo voy a saber cómo la interpretación o los diferentes significados eh, que podríamos interpretarlo en español está lingui.com. Uh -huh. Okay, very good, guys. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look, you know, at the information that we have here. There is a conversation, right? There is a conversation in uh, in this um, section. And also, uh, una pregunta. Bueno, aquí casi no me pasa con ustedes, pero do you have any questions about the platform, guys? Have you completed your platform? La sección 3 y el midterm exam ya están completas? Yes, 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 teacher. yes, teacher. Bye. Ok, entonces no era aquí. <ríe> que me habían dicho que había un par que no habían terminado. Bye, entonces si es así, excelente. Bye, let's go ahead and move to this conversation. It says listen and practice. It is a conversation between Mr. Lee and Karen. And as you can see, there's a demolition site there, right? A demolition site. Oh, quiero ver. This is, así aquí está. I'm going to play it for you. Give me one sec. Aquí está. So let's go ahead and listen to the conversations. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. 
Yeah, and they're tearing down. Peter, I can hear you. Gotta build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Okay, so this conversation is a slightly different. It's un poquito diferente a la que está en el manual. Pero pay attention to the, uh, to the idea and also to the question. Hay una pregunta ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué otro detalle es que el que ha cambiado? So let's go ahead and listen again. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. So what was the last Did change that the they mentioned? ¿Cuál fue el último cambio que mencionan ellos? Mm -hmm. The last change, dígame, Xiomara. The last change was uh, there was a bookstore there, and now uh -huh. there's a pizzeria. There's a pizzeria, right? Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Excellent. That's totally right. Now, take a look at the, at the tense. Uh, perdón, alguien iba a decir algo? No. Okay. Uh, take a look at the tenses, because actually this is a mix of tenses. Hay varios... Eh, varias estructuras mezcladas, ¿verdad? So we have the neighborhood sure has changed, present perfect. What was this place like before, Grandpa? Right? This is another conversation, right? Well, there used to be a grocery store right there or right here on this corner. Hmm. It was pretty quiet. Not many people lived here then. These days, the population is growing fast. Yeah, I bet they'll tear down all these old buildings soon. In a few years, there will be just malls and high-rise apartments. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. No, but I'll miss the old days, right? So very similar to, you know, when we were kids and there were fewer places and you would walk everywhere and we didn't have, you know, that many buses or a transportation means, right? And things were completely different, okay? Can I have two volunteers to read the conversation between Karen and Mr. Lee? Karen and Mr. Lee? Julio Cesar y Xiomara. Julio Cesar, ayúdeme con Mr. Lee. Xiomara, ayúdeme con Karen, please. Okay. <clears throat> the neighborhood sure has changed. Mm -hmm. What was this place like before, Grandpa? Well, there used to be a grocery store right here on the corner. Mm. It was pretty quiet. Not many people live here then. These days, the population is growing fast. Yeah, I bet I bet they they tear down all these old buildings soon. In a few years, there will be just malls and high-rise apartments. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. No, but I'll miss the old days. Okay, very good. So questions about the vocabulary words, guys? Questions about the vocabulary words? Julio Cesar, 
you want to help me with the with the reading? Uh, someone else? Alguien más que me ayude ahí para completar la conversación con Julio César? Thank you, Ivan. So, Julio César, ayúdeme con Mr. Lee. Continúe, Ivan, please. Oh, the, the neighbor. Oh, we're going to begin again. What was this place like before, Grandpa? Espérenme, Julio César. Es que tenía I, la mano levantada. Oh. ¿Usted acaba de leer o iba a leer? No, acabo. Uh, I, yo acabo de leer. Ah, ok, bye. Entonces, Iván y Francisco, me ayudan, please. Mr. Lee and Karen. Francisco o Mr. Lee? Comience, Iván. Ok. The neighborhood should has changed. What was this play like before, Grandpa? Well, there used to be a grocery store right here on this corner. Mm. It was pretty quiet. Not many people live here then. These days, the population is growing fast. Past. Yeah. I be there. They are done all this, all building song. In a few years, there will be just malls and high-rise apartments. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. No, but I'll miss the old days. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys. Now, uh, when it comes to the tenses, as you can see, we have a present perfect, like the neighbor shirt has changed, right? Uh, what was uh, this place like before, right? Simple past of verb be used to. There used to be a grocery store. So, Lia, ¿verdad? Uh, it was pretty quiet. Simple past. Not many people lived here then. Simple past. This day, this popu or the population is growing fast. Present continuous. Yeah, I bet they'll tear down all these old buildings. Future simple. In a few years, there will be just malls and high rise apartments. Future simples will will. Hey, that doesn't sound too bad. Present simple. No, but I'll miss the old days. Future simple with will. So as you can see here, guys, what we are doing is just make, uh, we're making a contrast, okay? We're making a contrast and it is like this, okay? We are including here three tenses, right? Past, present, and future. So we have here some sentences taken from the read, from the conversation, some of them are not. But in past, we have the following sentence. In the past, not many people lived here. People used to shop at grocery stores. And 50 years ago, people lived around to around 60, right? So take a look at the phrases. Miren esas frases, por ejemplo, in the past. En el pasado. Present, these days, estos días. Future, soon, muy pronto. Now, take a look at the present simple. It says, these days, the population is growing fast. Present continuous. Today, people shop at supermarkets, right? Present simple. Nowadays, people live to about 75, right? Nowadays. And uh, for future, we have soon, there will be a lot of high-rise apartments in 20 years. People might buy groceries by computer. Miren, eso, eso sí se dio, ¿ok? Porque esta es la primera edición, creo yo, la tercera edición del libro. Ahorita ya van por la quinta o la sexta, creo. Eh, so, in 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. So, it became a reality. In the future, people are going to live even longer. Ahí tenemos tres estructuras que usamos para futuro. Will, que es futuro simple. Might, buy, might, que es un... Verbo modal. Luego tenemos are going to. Going to, que sería pues eh, también estructura de, de futuro simple, ¿verdad? So let's go ahead and create some examples for each, okay? So please tell me a couple of examples using simple past, okay? Examples of sentences using simple past.
teacher me Dem i went to Dem the i went to the movies last weekend muy bien i went to the movies ay perdón i went to the movies Last week. Tratemos de que sean relacionadas al tema, ¿verdad? Oh, ok. Ajá. Por ejemplo, usted me dice, I went to the movie last weekend. Y puede decir, and saw a new building, right? Ok. And saw a new building there. Ok. So, I went to the movies last weekend and saw a new building there. So, they are eh, probably, uh, you know, building new homes. Apartments, etc. Xiomara. Uh, before there were a, a many malls, and now there are more malls everywhere. That's true. Before there weren't many malls. Nowadays, nowadays, es hoy en día, but nowadays we can find them. A lot. <laughs> Uh -huh. We can find it. We can find a lot and everywhere. We can find yeah. it everywhere. Hasta en los lugares más remotos, ¿verdad? Okay, then we have a floor, please. In the past, people didn't have cell phone. It's true. In the past, people Nowadays, didn't have... Nowadays, uh -huh. almost all I can say almost nobody. No. Nowadays, all people have cell phone. Mm -hmm. Even your children. Yes, all exactly. They nowadays, have. Me dijo nowadays, almost everyone, casi todo el mundo, ¿verdad? Almost everyone oh, yeah. have cell phones. Almost everyone, casi todos. Muy bien. Okay, thank you, Noemi. Anyone else? No? Okay. Uh, but, dígame. 200 years ago, there was, uh, there was an uh, airplane. There was? Airplane. There was an airplane. Ah, airplane. there wasn't. There wasn't. Okay. No, pero sería there weren't, si en plural, ¿verdad? There, there weren't. weren't airplanes mm -hmm. yeah 200 years ago there weren't airplanes right that's correct i think no recuerdo honestamente cuando fue que volaron los hermanos right do you remember guys the date map on their first flight a right brothers was in December, ah, exactamente. No, ¿verdad? Porque no, son más o menos. Sí, sí, está bien. La oración cabe en el rango, ¿verdad? So, yes, it's true. Uh, it was a long time ago. Okay, what about present, guys? Can you give me examples with the present simple? Look the ones that you have here. So what are those changes that you're able to see now? Mm -hmm. Dígame, Carla. Uh, maybe a sentence uh, using the past and present. Uh-huh. Uh, the past year, there were only face-to-face -face classes, and today, there are virtual classes, too. Mm -hmm. Last year, there were, you said face-to-face -face classes? Only face-to-face -face classes. And now, we yeah. have... Access to virtual it's classes, classes, right? Okay, very good. Excellent. Y con el presente, chicos, eh, Francisco, thank you, Carla. Thank you, teacher. Today, eh, a lot of people work at home. Mm -hmm, that's true. Today, a lot of people work at home. 
in the past, this was impossible, right? It's right. Humara, please. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, people buy almost everything online. That's true. Nowadays, people buy almost everything online. That's so true. Okay. Now, guys, what do you think about groceries? What do you think about eh, asking, you know, type of todo lo que son groceries como las cositas que necesitan en su casa? What about vegetables, guys? Do you feel comfortable buying vegetables online, vegetables and fruit? Or do you prefer to go to the market and see them your, yourself? Teacher, I prefer to buy by myself because mm -hmm. I can choose all the vegetables, the fruit. And if I buy in online, I don't know if all the fruit is fresh or the prices too. We have to make, to be sure if the price are right mm -hmm. by online, making a comparative prices. Mm -hmm. It's so true because it's not the same, right? They can tell you that they are good quality, but it is not the same whenever you are in front and you uh in front of the person right that is selling the fruits and vegetables and pick the ones that you like right so thank you very much anyone else anyone else okay what about will what about going to these are the structures for future what sentences can you tell me with the with future meaning Is your mother? Well, I think in the future we can have a communication by cell phones, but with all arounds. In I the think. future, in the future, <laughs> yeah, we will have uh, we will have communication communication with holograms. Okay, in the future, we will have communication with holograms. Thank you. Daniel? Yeah, the, another phrase is, in the future, people are going to make a transportation the, on this place in another place. Maybe it's in, a, in the same country or another country. Okay. Teletransport so the... it's, it's teletransportation. Ah, in the future, people will teletransport. Transport, they will transport themselves, right? So I transport that. In the future, people will will teletransport themselves. Okay, I don't know if that's called teletransportation. Not pretty sure. <laughs> Let's see, teletransport. Teletransportation. Okay. So, yeah. I guess. Okay. What else, guys? What else do you foresee? in the future eh, Xiomara and then Carla Carla next month we're going to study intermediate Model three. So. <laughs> Excellent. Next month. Right. We are going to study intermediate. Two. Intermediate two. Okay, very good. And she's using going to because she's pretty sure about it. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now let's go back here to the information right that we have. These uh, three structures are structures that you have already studied, right? For instance, eh, in present simple, no, in principiante dos, creo que ven eh, present perfect, right? Ese es el primer momento, creo yo, en el que ven present perfect. No, I'm sorry, intermedio, eh, pre-intermedio dos, okay? 
So now take a look at the structure. Esas estructuras son estructuras que ustedes ya conocen, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, tenemos los regular verbs and irregular verbs in past, right? También tenemos reglas, ups, tenemos reglas, ¿verdad? Que, que hay que utilizar cada vez que nosotros pues estamos eh, eh, armando oraciones en pasado. Past, I mean, sentences in past. Las oraciones en pasado son bien interesantes porque solo, only, we only use the past simple of the verb in the, in the positive sentence. Solo en la afirmativa. Then in the negative sentence, we know that we have didn't. Ahí tenemos didn't, right? Entonces, eh, if it's negative, didn't is going to help you, you know, to express that sentence. Then we have also uh, the questions. We use, them, we use them with didn't, right? Didn't. I mean, did. The question, did you? Did you go to school yesterday? Did you visit your parents on the weekend? Did you cook breakfast, right? What about used to, right? Solía. I used to go to school in the afternoon. Solía ir a la escuela en la tarde. I used to eat... Uh, pancakes for breakfast, right? I used to do my homework on the weekends. I used to, so Leah, right? And then also we have the irregular verbs. I mean, it's not just irregular verbs in simple past, right? For example, we don't say I, I break you know, a window. I say, I broke a window. And those are irregular verbs, okay? Then, with the present, right, in the presente, we have the rules. We have the spelling rules for the third person singular. O la, las reglas de la tercera persona que le decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? We say that those rules, right, it help you to identify the type of verb. And if they fulfill certain conditions, you can go ahead and apply, it, you know, the, the rule. You can add ES or IES, depending on the on, on the ending of the verb, okay? Present continuous. Well, present continuous, you study present continuous in basico dos, or pres, eh, principiante dos, ¿verdad? What happens with present continuous? Well, present continuous has two elements. It has the verb be. It has the, um, the verb plus ING. Entonces, esos dos elementos van de la mano, ¿verdad? Eh, what happens here is that sometimes I use present continue, continuous for future. Sí puedo usar presente continuo para futuro, pero siempre y cuando sea una fecha, una cita o algo que ya esté arreglado. ¿Cómo así, teacher? Vaya. For example, let's say that we are talking today and you say, no, teacher, let's go to the movies, right? Ah, okay, I say. Let's go to the movies. And when? Uh, let's go to the movies on Saturday. At what time? Uh, 10. 10 a.m. Bye. Entonces, mi oración va a ser así. We're going, okay, to the movies on Saturday. Or let's say you say, no, oh, let's go ahead and have lunch together. Okay, let's have lunch together. When? Saturday. At what time? At 12, okay. So, we're having lunch on Saturday. Pero estamos usando la misma estructura. We're having lunch on Saturday. ¿Verdad? And what do I do that? Well, I mean, how, why do I do that? Eh, lo hago así porque cuando yo estoy hablando de, eh, de arrangements, son arreglos o appointments, citas. Yo uso present, present uh, continuous. Uso el presente, presente continuo para eso. Para citas, para arreglos que, que tienen hora, lugar, fecha. ¿Verdad? Si hay hora, lugar y fecha, entonces podemos usar presente continuo. ¿Ok? Luego tenemos ahí, in the future, tenemos will. Will is very easy to use, right? All what you have to do is to add the base form of the verb. Then we have might, right? Might, which is um, a model. Es un verbo modal. Y ya sabemos, chicos, que los verbos modales son súper fáciles. ¿Por qué, Marce? Porque, pues, con ellos yo no me tengo que complicar, ¿verdad? Yo sé que eh, si uso un verbo modal, el verbo que viene a la par va a ser un verbo en forma base. 
¿verdad? Y que no necesito estar modificando, ya sea si es tercera persona o no, ¿verdad? Entonces, I don't need to modify that. And it means pueda que, ¿verdad? Might, probabilidad, como may también, ¿ok? Luego tenemos, in the future, people are going to live even longer. Tenemos el going to, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasa con el going to? Bueno, también lo mismo, ¿verdad? Lo voy a utilizar para planes, for plans, ¿ok? Pregunta, chicos, hasta el momento. Not sure. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, in the platform, right, you will be able to find some exercises that, um, that will, you know, uh, give you a hint on what you're doing, right? So, here we have the phrases before, right? Uh, about in most offices today, right? In many cities nowadays, soon, okay? From here, guys, uh, this exercise contains a lot of options, okay? It contains, ay, les mostré la respuesta. Bueno, solo una. It contains a lot of options, pero solo una es correcta. De cada, de cada fila, solo una es correcta, okay? In case you were wondering. Entonces, hay que... Completar ese ejercicio, ¿verdad? Junto con el, 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 las frases que le indican ahí. So, I think I'm going to stop here, right? And this one, we will do it tomorrow because we're going to have some time for us to practice a little bit on these tenses. Eh, recuerda también el manual, ¿verdad? Yo siempre recomiendo ir viendo el manual because you can find more information there. Let me see if I have it here, intermediate. I think it's this one, intermediate. Ah, no, pre-intermedio, aquí está. Ah, no, intermedio. Give me one second. Ya perdí la página. Ay, no. Ay, no. I'm sorry. I lost the page. <ríe> es que yo tengo la versión del, o sea, tengo todas las unidades. Ustedes creo que solo tienen las que ustedes ven. Entonces, yo las tengo todas. Ajá. So, that's the reason why I cannot find it. Um... I don't know where I put it. Ah, aquí está. Por aquí nos habíamos quedado, right? Okay, this is from your manual. This is the su manual, ¿verdad? If you have time for you to read it, right? Try to um, to cover, right, some of the exercises that you can find there. So as you can see here, we have the introduction with the past, present, and future events, right? And then we have also the conversation that I showed you the grammar focus, and this one. This one we will do it tomorrow, okay? Because it is already in the, está también en su, en, su, en su plataforma. Now it says pronunciation and intonation, right? This is important too, and we're going to um, study this tomorrow. Vamos a ver, eh, ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? En los módulos anteriores les han venido explicando un poquito acerca del rising and falling intonation. Cuando el pitch sube y baja dependiendo de la pronunciación de las palabras, ¿verdad? Así que I'm going to stop here, guys, and I'm going to pass the attendance right, right now. Pero solo a los que no me contestaron, ¿de acuerdo? Tenemos acá a Damari Saraí García Cerón. Presente. Thank you. Luego tengo a Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez, Gabriel José Hernández López, Gabriel José Hernández López, uy, pero no han venido, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Presente. Thank you, Héctor Iván. Carla Alicia Barrera. Presente, teacher. Thank you. And Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. 
Kevin Alexander, Sánchez Ramos, no vino. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here, but thank you very much for joining. I'll see you tomorrow, ¿verdad? And don't forget to work in section four, ¿verdad? Si hay alguien que haya, no haya completado algo, y si tiene preguntas, pues con gusto, pero cualquier cosa me avisan también el día de mañana. Write down the exercise number and I will help you. So good night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.